Today, friends, I'm going to show you how to quickly make a 3D printable name puzzle in just a few minutes. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one is to visit Canva. I love it for the excellent fonts. I always use an Instagram square post because of the size. You can see I've already got mine started right here. Now I started by clicking on this and I went to text and I added a text box. And you can see I clicked on this one and I went through the fonts and I tried to choose one that had reasonably rounded edges. That is easier when you're making a puzzle project. I then clicked on the spacing and I changed my spacing so that there was a gap between them. This allows me to later make another piece that's wider so it works as a puzzle. To send this to Tinkercad, I like to use a screen capture tool. I'm simply grabbing the area that I care about. You could also do file and you could download the image. I prefer this with my tools. I am using Snagit and when I hit finish, it automatically saves that as a PNG so I can bring it to our next tool. Our next tool is pick SVG. Simply click on the link, choose upload a picture. Here is my file and let's hit open. When this appears, I always like to switch to internal too. I don't want the double lines. I simply want the outside and we can download that SVG. I'm going to just save this in my downloads folder because I do not terribly need it. I'm going to call it Mike 111 because I have saved it more than once already. At this point, friends, you can move to Tinkercad. We are going to choose create and we're going to choose brand new 3D design. Let's start by renaming it. We're going to call this Letter Puzzle. I've done it more than once, so I'm going to call it Letter Puzzle 3. We're going to choose Import, choose a file. Of course, you need to visit that folder where you made your name. I've got my mic SVG, and then when I bring this in, I do not want it to be 297 millimeters long. I'm going to instead choose 90 millimeters for how large I want mine to be. It takes a moment to arrive, but there are your letters. I am going to take the quality and I'm going to bump it all the way up. I'll pick a fun color just because it's cool. And then we're going to do control D to duplicate. Now the second one, we're going to change the fill mode. We want to choose outer line and we want to make this a number like 0.5 and press enter. After a moment, you'll see it snap to that 0.5 outline. I'm going to make it round. Once again, the quality is high. And then depending on your printer, you may want a larger number. I'm using 0.5 because that works with my printer. If your printer doesn't print super accurately, you may want a one millimeter line width. Now we're going to export this as another SVG for laser cutting. Notice selected shape SVG. After a moment, it'll ask where we want to save it. Instead of the name letter puzzle, I'm going to put this as Mike and I'm going to put V2A. That way I can tell which is which. And now I'm going to go back to import and I'm going to choose a file. And I want that Mike V2A and I only want the art and I'm leaving the measurements. Remember how we set this to 90? Check it out. This one is exactly one millimeter larger. After a moment it arrives, you can double check to see that one millimeter larger. We are gonna then take it up here. Once again, bump up the quality and we're gonna make this the silhouette. Friends, this is what makes this project work. We do have to wait a moment for it to snap. But once it does, we're gonna set that as a hole. And then we're gonna cut this hole into a block so that we can use our puzzle pieces. Now you may have to adjust your numbers depending on how many letters your name has. Mine of course has the four letters. So here's how I'm gonna do it. Once again, remember how this was 90. So we're gonna click on a box. I wanted to have a sweet round radius. So I'm gonna add a three in the radius box. And then I do want you to understand we need to type all the numbers for this cool radius to stick. So for the length, I'm gonna check this design, see how it's 24.7. So then I am going to type 28 for the length I want and press enter for the width. I'm going to do 95. That way it's wider than the project. And for the height, I'm going to do 2.5 and press enter. I just want you to understand that if you 
don't type those numbers, you lose the cool radius. I'll just show you real quickly by doing control D and notice if I stretch this out, all of a sudden those radius get wonky. So if you ever drag the handles of your shape, it breaks these parameters. I just want to remind you of that. So now we're gonna cut this in. We're gonna simply do shift select, L for a line, make this one the boss, and I'm gonna go center, center, and I'm gonna leave it at the bottom, but then I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna do control up arrow to raise it up one millimeter. When I select the two now and do control G, it cuts in our letters and we're ready for 3D printing. I'm gonna show you that real quickly by doing control D, C for cruise, and let's set this up in there. Switch to flat view, switch to top view. And if we zoom in, check it out, you can see those tiny gaps on every side of our letters. I'm gonna delete that now, switch back to the perspective view. I'm gonna adjust this height to something smaller. I'm gonna choose three millimeters. I think that'll be easy enough for people to grab as they play with the puzzle. And then we're gonna grab everything we made, except this piece right here, and we're gonna export it as an STL. I store mine in my 3D modeling folder. I'm gonna call it Letter Puzzle 3. And friends, it's time to move to Bamboo Studio. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Lab Studio. Let's add that project, Letter Puzzle 3. And note, I've got an AMS, so we're gonna print it in four colors, and I'm gonna print the base on a separate printer. Check this out. We can right click, and we can split the module into objects. After a moment, I can click on the base and I can delete it. Now under object mode, we can pick the colors. I'm gonna make that M blue. I'm gonna make the second letter orange, third letter green, and the final letter yellow. I am also gonna switch back to global mode and under others, I'm gonna set this to print by object so that way I have no need for the prime tower. Should make everything faster. Let's hit slice plate. This actually had enough gaps so it's not complaining and this print is gonna be done in about 20 minutes. Let's quickly hit print plate double check our colors, and send it to the 3D printer. Friends, to speed it up, I repeated those steps in Artillery Slicer. They are, of course, the same, except I only kept the base. It is clipper base, so I can monitor it as well. And I believe it'll be done in about 10 minutes. And of course, something like a half hour later, check it out, we've got a tiny Tinkercad letter puzzle. <laughs> How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to Tony for the question. Absolutely love this type of project. Friends, I do also want to thank all my Patreon supporters. I also want to remind you, links below and the bit.ly above. And I also want to remind you about the sweet discussion area where you can request designs and ask for help on projects you're working on. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.